Hey there, W163 fans. I have been pioneering and checking out a front affordable shock upgrade option for especially for the heavier V8 MLs, but all the MLs could benefit from this. Um, so I will show you something I discovered uh, for the front end of this 2002 ML500, what I'm about to say would apply to any of the W163 variants, uh, 98 through 05. So um, this uh, particular one is the 02, and I will show you evidence. Alrighty, there we are. See? ML500. Okay, that means it's got the heavy V8 engine, kind of wears shocks out really quickly. I was um, not impressed when I put the twin tube KYB replacement on here and they were blown within 20,000 miles or so. So let's look what I've done to the front end to improve that. Okay, KYB being the original manufacturer, um, possibly along with others for the ML, uh, there was a twin tube, kind of a low grade uh, shock on here to begin with. I can't remember the number, but this is the upgrade shock that will fit. It's the Mono Max by KYB, uh, stock number 565102. And the application is a little different. It's meant for the front of a Chevy 2500 truck uh, or a Hummer H2, which if you know your Chevys, those are a uh, uh, identical chassis application. Anyhow, they do fit perfectly, just the right length amount of travel for the front of the ML W163s. Um, I got this information by calling KYB, talking to an engineer. I told him what I just told you, that I was wearing out the stock ones too quickly, and I knew they made the Monomax, and I was wondering if any of them in their whole product lineup would match the front uh, specs for the length, travel, and everything for the, uh, the stock KYBs that typically come on the front of our MLs and good number of people replace them with that, and they're just not that long-lived or that strong. So he agreed it was a good idea, and he found this one in their catalog. I've been running it now for over a year. Absolutely marvelous. Um, I've got like twelve or 14,000 miles on them, uh, just solid and tight, much more responsive than the stock twin tube. Uh, without being more harsh, too, that's the amazing thing. Um, I'm going to, you'll want for pictures of this whole installation and fitment notes, you'll want to read the uh, thread that's going to be linked in the description below the video. So hit that more button. And also thank you for hitting like um, if this was helpful to you. And what we've got here, a few fitment notes, uh, just order the 565-102 stock number Monomax from whatever source you can. I got them on Amazon and I think it was 50 or 55 bucks each. And this will compare favorably to the B6 um, Probably the same quality level as the B6 Bill Steam without being $130 each. And you do need to cut a little shim to go down in here because this stock shock um, is got a four, or 9 16 hole, which is bigger than 14 millimeter. The Mercedes bolt here is 14 millimeter, and the hole is 9 16 So there's a tiny bit of slop. How do you take that up? Well, you cut a shim, but uh, you'll need to read my directions that are a little more detailed than I have a moment to say here. Just a tiny little plastic shim that fits in there. Read that thread on um, the Ben's World Forums, and consider joining the Ben's World Forums. Uh, if you're not already a member, uh, you're going to love the support you get there for your W163. Another tip, too, is when you fit your shock, you can make your life a lot easier by cutting. Take a pair of tin snips or heavy industrial scissors and cut two parallel grooves here. And that allows you to lift the flap up, get at your front shock bolt, top shock bolt, and change it out. Uh, if you've never been changed on those, it'll probably be rusted and very nasty and hard to do because the uh, headers are just above that. It makes it kind of a mess the first time you do it. You can just drill little holes there, zip tie it shut. Next time you're ready for a shock change, like that, and then you're good to go. All right, so there you have it. Um, your ML will handle better. Uh, these will be much longer lived. Uh, little things like that, you know, along with stuff like the urethane front sway bar bushings on both sides. Uh, pretty important stuff to make the ML handle as well as it can. And this thing really does handle very sharp for a beastly heavy, uh, almost 5,000 pound SUV. Alrighty, so thanks for watching. Like I say, appreciate the thumbs up and come to visit us in the Ben's World Forum. Make a comment on the thread if this, you found this helpful. Any questions, I'll be glad to help you. Probably a little more effective to comment on the forum and get help uh, from me or somebody else. I'll try and monitor the YouTube video as well. Okay, take care and God bless.